D23 Expo. <laughs> Look at this. We're going to go back inside because it's starting to sprinkle. Yes, let's go. But we're here at D23. Let's go inside, Janelle. Let's go. The D23 Expo. Yes. Finally, the yeah. ultimate Disney fan event. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here, because we're big fans. Guys, look who we found here. It's oh, Keetra and Peter hey. of Ordinary Adventures. How's it going, everybody? Hi. <laughs> so you guys, what did you guys enjoy so much about D23? I just, lo I just love being here, to be honest. We haven't done much yet, but I did buy some merch, so Ooh. you know. <laughs> I love the Imagineering Pavilion. Yeah. Seeing all like the, the things coming do. up. Awesome. Really cool. Yeah, like yeah. they showed like the new vehicles. They're like this small. I don't know how people are going to fit in them, but. <laughs> we'll manage, we'll manage. Yeah. We're Disney fans, we'll, we'll find a there. way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to check out some great videos, especially Star Wars videos, these guys know so much about it. They're the experts. They're check out Ordinary Adventures. All Star Wars. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> they're like chef's kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> check them out, guys. They're really cool. Ordinary Adventures on YouTube. All right, so we're about to enter. The expo. Whoa. What? Look at this. The Hulk smashed. That's a photo op. That is the coolest photo op. I look at this. Uh oh. That is really cool. Detail. And you have like the cement blocks on top. <laughs> it gives it that 3D effect. Look at that. We should take one later. So right behind me, there's like a, a sparkly 100. Well, inside there, the Walt Disney Archives is showing you a century of archival Walt Disney like artifacts. They're all in there. I want to go check it out. We're going to do that a little bit later right now. The line's really big. This looks pretty promising. We're going to wait a little bit later. I can't wait to check it out in there. Guys, we're here at the D23 Expo now. This is the biggest Disney fan event. This is the biggest. Now, here you're gonna find some boots with like Star Wars, Marvel, Disney animation. You're pretty much gonna find it all. You're gonna find merch that's awesome, that's classic and new. They also have panels that'll tell you basically everything you wanna know about all the latest Marvel movies, pretty much all the latest information about theme parks. There's a lot to do here. So we're gonna walk around and show you what you could do here at D23. Let's go, welcome to this Magic Journeys. Right now, as you guys look around, it is really packed in here. Everyone is looking around. Everyone's having a great time. Like I said, this is where you come to basically play if you're a huge Disney fan. Oh, look at the Alani, Alani. sign. I've always wanted to go Alani, but uh, we're going to have to save up our pennies. Yes. It's really cool from what I hear, but uh, I don't know. I hate flying. <laughs> I know. Actually, you know what I want to do in the future? What? I actually want to do a cruise. I want to go pretty much everywhere, everywhere like Disney Paris and Tokyo, but all that is pretty pricey. <laughs> That could be us, Janelle. That could be us. Look how pretty she looks. I love this blue dress on her. Yeah, and look at Mickey. She I would definitely amazing. wear that. That's something I would wear. Yes, this is us. That's us. And then feature. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get some food right here at the In Between Cafe. And if you're a cast member, you know what this is referencing. We're yes. about to get some food right now. We don't know what they have here, but we're about to find out. All right, so we're gonna start with some nachos. Uh, everything they have here seems like it's kind of like cafeteria food, but we're hungry. We haven't eaten anything, I so know. that's how we start All today. All we had you guys at Starbucks. Yeah. And that's not healthy. That's not good. <laughs> All right, so you can get yourself a burger and uh, let me get a burger here. Ah, one-handed. And they also have hot dogs. You said you wanted a hot dog? Yeah, I wanted a hot dog. I want this one. All right, so we got our food here. I uh, just got basically a burger, some fries. They have nachos also, like if you want to get some nachos. And Janelle decided to get herself a hot dog. A hot dog. Yes, I know it's not the best looking food, but it's the best that we've got right now because we're hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. We haven't eaten, so we're all like, this is what we're going to eat today. And if you guys are planning to get some food, well, at least you know what they have here. This is it. I love lunch fight backpacks. She has one right there. Obviously. That's the Walt Disney World like wall, right? Yes, the purple wall. So if you know, you guys comment down below. But yes, <laughs> as you can tell, I am a Lounge Fly fan. I have their ears, I have their merchandise. I even have their um, their backpack. So we're gonna go check it out right now. Look at this beautiful dress. The cute ice cream details. This cute ice cream bag, crossbody bag. And then you have Hercules. Look. Oh my goodness, you have the goddesses right there with the cute matching purse, also a crossbody. And then you have Princess Jasmine. Oh my goodness, this is like a chiffon type material. And then the rest, like rouge tear, beautiful jasmine painting or drawing, so beautiful. And look at this lamp.
it's so 80s. I love how retro this looks. It, it actually, it looks more 90s than that than it's 80s. It's more 90s. Yeah, it's more 90s. It's like 90s Mickey, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love the material. It's like a mesh material. It opens up right here. And this Pluto. The dumbbell. Oh, See? It's like, it looks like a little pin, but it's the zipper. Uh, That's so cute. So wow. I'm definitely going to get this. This is what I've been <laughs> wanting. So this is for sure. And uh, look at these charms. They're like Marvel charms. There's Iron Man and the Hulk, Black Panther. Look at that. I have Black Widow over here, and they have the stones over here. I have the awesome. Really like, cool. Is that like Thor's hammer? Yeah, it's like the Marvel collection. Look at this. Uh, it's pretty nice. The Pandora Exp uh, uh, Express. The Pandora. <laughs> so no, Pandora <laughs> Express? <laughs> the Pandora, Pandora Experience. Look at this. Wow, a lot of people here. Look at those giant charms. Yeah, I saw them right there. It's Iron Man. Look at that. Big giant charm. I'd rather have that. Take that at home and hang it up. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> and look, they have vinyls of the classic animated films. Hercules. They have Snow White. Aladdin. And there's Bambi. If I could find The Lion King, guys, I'm taking that. I'm taking The Lion King. This is a great, I'm pretty sure, a great soundtrack. I can go to distance. Wow. I like this too. <laughs> I want that. They have the soundtrack of adventures through inner space. What? That is crazy. And over on this side here, they have the Mandalorian soundtrack. Now, if you guys are heavy into vinyl, well, guys, let me tell you, this is cool. And I believe you could buy these through the Disney Music Emporium. I don't know if they're gonna sell these online, but if you're a vinyl collector, man, I would be happy. If you're waiting in line here and they come and ask you, would you like some cards? Just say yes, they'll scan your badge. And get some limited edition yes, cards. I'm gonna open them. At the uh, Music Emporium. I'm excited, let's I wanna see, open. Let's open them up. Let's see. <gasps> Wait, what do we got? Whoa, what do we got? I got Simba and Pumba and Simone. Um, I forgot his name. Maui. And I got toys. I've got Toy Story, so I got Buzz and Trudy. I'm not trading these. I'm no, I'm not mine. trading mine either. <laughs> I like these two. I'm like kind of curious three. to see what's inside mine. Okay, let's open yours. All right, let's see. I might want to trade with you. I feel like what have you got I feel like ones? some Monsters Inc. actions in there. Let's guess. Like. I'm probably <gasps> wrong. Though. Most likely. <laughs> let's see. Oh, you got Hercules. Oh! Oh, oh, I like this one so cute. Yeah. Let's trade this one. No, no, no. You oh, said no. you weren't trading. <laughs> well, like you got um, Elsa, Queen Elsa. Oh, we're frozen. I got a good pair of cards. <laughs> you did. All right, all right. I'll trade you. But what do you want to trade it for? Mm, I'll trade, trade you, you the Elsa about... for my Maui. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. My collection is complete. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. I really like this Lilo and Stitch vinyl. It's got that nice blue color. And look it up. That's a vinyl, guys. That's really cool. Adventures through inner space. They have Lion King right here. Beautiful colors on these vinyls. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Don't get dizzy, guys. Don't get dizzy. And then for you Enchanted fans, they also have these vinyls. Hocus Pocus is on vinyl. And uh, this is the one Janelle really likes, the Lo-Fi Mini Focus. It's on YouTube, you can hear it. It's really good music, and if you like that like 80s, 90s retro vibe, it's got it, it's really cool. And then of course, the Muppet movie, right here. Got some great stuff. we found here it's paging mr morrow hey friends i got a question for you what was your favorite part of d23 this year oh definitely meeting kevin feige he's just walking around the expo like a boss because he is and then also the hitchhiking ghosts from the haunted mansion and walt disney world are here like the actual hitchhiking ghosts oh. they took them out you can actually get like up close to the real hitchhiking ghosts yeah they're, they're auctioning we gotta them see off. that we they're gotta sell for like a million dollars Definitely. Oh, oh, nice to Can't afford yeah. that. Yeah, that's a little too much. But great to know that. Yeah. Thank you for letting us know what your favorite part was. And enjoy the expo. Thank you yeah. so much. All right, so we're going to check out the wonderful world of dreams. Look at this, guys. There's a Disneyland resort. This Hank figure is at Disneyland currently. 
Fly the Nemo attraction in the lagoon. Yes, there's Hank. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of this stuff here is new things that they Star added Jumper inside ride. the parks. This is a Star Jumper ride for the new Galaxy, uh, sorry, Gardens of the Galaxy attraction over at Walt Disney World in Epcot. Wow. wow. Not only do they have Disneyland, they also have Walt Disney World, they have Shanghai Disney, they have Paris Disney. Tokyo, it's all these places. All this new stuff, huh? Yes. Tokyo Disney. We want to go there one day, huh? Yeah, one day. I'm crossing my fingers one day, but right now I'm going to admire the pictures and sights and sound from. Here, why don't you go right here? Let me put you in Tokyo real quick. You're in Tokyo or Yay. Walt Disney World because it's the same <laughs> Cinderella like Castle. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the only way you'll know you're in Tokyo is right there. <laughs> and then right here, Disneyland Paris has such a gorgeous Sleeping Beauty Castle. Look at that. Wow. And at Disneyland Paris, they just recently added their Avengers Campus. That's the Quinjet model. We have one too here in California, but they also have one now too. If you go to Hong Kong Disneyland, these are the spires you're going to find on top of their castle. They're so tiny. Yeah, well, have you seen their castle? It's our castle, but not. Look. Really? Yeah, look. So down here, you guys will recognize these. That's a Sleeping Beauty Castle down there. Oh, yeah. And they added on top of it to make it a lot bigger. That is really cool. I want to see this one day for myself. But that's where Castle just expanded. And this is where I live, right there. If you look closely. Oh yeah, you're in there you somewhere. You can see me waving. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is more of a uh, one size fits almost no animals concept. I'm sure they're going to fill up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. <laughs> that was so cute. We're here at the Disneyland Resort section of the Wonderful World of Dreams. Yes. And they have a preview of what Toontown is going to look like I'm soon. I'm so excited. I've been anticipating this moment. I just want to see because I I do like the classic Toontown how you used to look. Because I had like the old Art Deco 90s style yeah and I'm kind of curious how they're gonna like make it kind of modern do you know what I mean modern but old but still have you know yeah retro. exactly have yeah retro but modern at the same time but right now they also have a diorama of the new Mickey's runaway railway that's gonna be coming up soon so we're gonna show it to you guys I love it I can't wait to see it I love these changes <laughs> there it is the El Capitune theater with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Wow. I love it. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. What do you guys think of this? Are you excited for it? Are you not? I want to know. So I'm reading right here and it says Cafe Daisy. It's the acclaimed culinary expert, Daisy Duck, has served up di uh, diner classics at her sidewalk table eatery. Cafe Daisy. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like now you'll be able to play with the little fountains next to uh, Donald. I wonder what's happening over at Goofy's. There's like a little play area outside. That's, that's really cool. I like all the colors. I like everything they're doing with this. I can't wait to see it in person though. That's what I'm really excited for. She's the best in beignets. I'm so excited. There's the family portrait photo when they established their restaurant. I'm excited. This is so cool. Did you see the restaurant they're gonna open? That's yeah, beautiful. Look right there. Right there. Yes. Tiana did say she's a good seamstress. I'm excited. That's true. <laughs> really cool. We just saw Walt Disney statue. They're going to be putting that exact statue over at Epcot in Walt Disney World. That is so cool to see it in person before it goes over there. We're one of the first people to see it. 
and it looks beautiful guys that's really cool that they're honoring walt disney with this statue at walt disney world <laughs> wow look at that guys that's your disney wish it's such a huge ship if you guys want to check out some great reviews on this go check out uh Keitra and peter's video that they did of the wish made us want to get on <laughs> and enjoy a voyage never done it before i know i really want to get on a cruise mm -hmm. i'm excited because i heard it's a different experience a lot of people have been asking us in the comments like why don't do you do a cruise? cruise? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe we should next year. It would Let be us nice. in the comments below yeah. if you guys want us to do a cruise. I kind of want to do the wish or the wonder. Oh. You guys tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they have so many things to do here, guys. It's almost overwhelming. There's like so much to do. So if you're planning to come, just remember, just take one booth at a time, take it in, enjoy it. Um, but yeah, there is lots to do, which is good. That's always a good thing. So I came to this Citizen Watch booth and, and look at how beautiful this is. The fire department on Main Street with Walt Disney's apartment right on top. But what's really cool is when you open this up, there's a little back flap, it opens. And it lights up. It lights up, Walt's apartment lights up. But when you purchase something right now at the Citizen booth, they give you a free painting, or not a painting, a, a drawing. A drawing, and there's an artist in there by the name Jeff Shelley, who's drawing all these cute, like, little Disney characters. He drew this one, look. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> I like it, and I love I this. this. So I'm gonna frame it and have it on my wall. Yeah. There you go. And not only that, you get Walt's apartment that you could have right on your desk, and you can look at the time and get reminded of the most magical place on Earth. Yeah. So this is the same model clock that they have at Disneyland, Walt Disney World. We just took a picture in front of it with the same model clock. The ones they have on Main Street. Very, very cool. Of D23 Expo at the Marvel Studios booth, thou art the brainiest. Congratulations, Eli. Congratulations. Do you have any words that you would love to share with these folks who, for the most part, I believe that y'all believe in Eli. Right, did you believe in it? Nine to 10. Back tomorrow. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> These are OLED panels and they kind of have like this 3D effect. Look at this. There's Darth Vader. Oh my goodness. And I think if you come over to this side, yeah, it's got like this really cool 3D effect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Oh, that's really cool. It almost feels like he's gonna come out of that screen and try to slash us. Hopefully he doesn't do that. Looks like he wants to. Okay, good. Looks like we're fine, guys. He's gone. <laughs> All right, we're going inside the archives now. Look at this. We're starting in the 1920s. All right, so we're starting here at Steamboat Willie. It's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, their legendary debut on November 18th, 1928. We thought we'd take a picture <laughs> On this little boat, steamboat, woolly boat. All right. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> now we're going to move into 1937, and this is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs premiered at the Carthay Circle. So if you ever go to Disney's California Adventure, the Carthay Circle there is a replica of where they premiered Snow White. You guys should definitely dine there. It's it's really cool. They got great pictures on the wall with the history of Snow White, Walt Disney, Carthay. This is all stuff that you find back in the days. Look at this. So this is from 1938. That's a Snow White perfume bottle. And over here they have Snow White chewing gum. What? A huge box for chewing gum. Right over here is a Snow White bubble bath bottle from the 1960s. And they got sewing thimbles over here from 1938. Wow. That's got so much history right there. That's a commemorative program of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs from the premiere in 1937. Now we all know 1955, July 17th, 1955 to be exact, the day Disneyland officially opened to the public. We're at Disneyland, look at this. Beautiful posters from Frontierland, Main Street, and Walt Disney's employee badge is number one from 1955. Uh, 1964, over here we have Mary Poppins. Right over here in 1971, they have the Haunted Mansion. It doesn't say here if these are actual relics from 
the attraction, but it's really cool to see it up close and personal. I think it might be because this might be the classic version of the ride. So right here, we're in the 90s now and we have Dick Tracy. That would have been cool like if they had Roger Rabbit here. I love Tron, but Roger Rabbit would have been awesome. The Club Ritz, Dick Tracy, and I believe that's Madonna's dress back there. There's Warren Beatty's suits from Dick Tracy. Cool. There's a huge line for this one and Janelle, she's like, I have to do I have this. I to do it, come on. It's a Disney Channel wand. So remember in like in the commercials where they're like, hi, this is so-and-so and you're watching the Disney Channel. Oh yeah. And then it's like that. Hi, I'm Janelle and you're watching the Disney Channel. So this is the wand that you would see on those promos where stars like Hilary Duff or uh, Miley, Miley Cyrus, Cyrus would, uh, yeah, they Selena do. Gomez. Well, what was, what would they, what would they say? Oh, I'm so and so, and you're watching the Disney Channel, <laughs> and it'll be like a floppy, like Mickey ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the one they use, so all you Disney Channel fans you get to see it right there. And right over here, we end the archives with Lucasfilm, because on December 21st, 2012, Walt Disney acquired Lucasfilm, so. Now we have so many things of Star Wars. We have the films, we have Galaxy's Edge. Star Wars has a lot to offer right now for Disney. Yes. <laughs> I have to check out this booth here. So this is Lucasfilm, I believe. They have Star Wars, Indiana Jones on this side. Wow, and outside that like willow on their walls. Look at all the wardrobes from Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Wow, look at the wardrobe guys. This is for the new Indiana Jones film, which is coming on June 30th, 2023. There it is. This is what Harrison Ford will be wearing in that film. Close and personal guys right there. I can't believe I'm standing next to Harrison Ford's wardrobe. And this is what his jacket looks like. Wow, the whip and the shoes. Yeah, it's from the new film. Okay, it's coming out June 30th, 2023. Yeah! So mark, so mark your calendars. <laughs> Here's a little preview of what you're gonna be seeing in the new Indiana Jones film. Ooh, he's gonna get himself into some trouble, that's for sure. Always been such a huge fan of Indiana Jones, so seeing a new film really gets my heart racing. I'm excited for it. Is there any Indiana Jones fans out there? I wanna know. I just, I go crazy for Indy. I love him. Welcome back, welcome back. There you go, show's over. Let's try that, that is so cool. I'd rather see it in person in real life. I know, me too. I, I'm, a theater, I'm a theater kid, so I really want to see this. Nothing beats the experience of seeing it in real life. Yes, that is true and I agree. Oh my gosh, there's a whole other side. You're telling me there's a whole other side? Right over here, we didn't even see this. There's, I'm telling you, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. <laughs> How cute. Yeah, all these 90s retro like, clothing is coming out and I'm all in for I'm it. I'm for it. I'm for this right here. A goofy movie. Look, at it. it's a long, is it a sweater or is that? Yeah, it's like a sweater. Wow. I'm really digging that one right there. About to check out the D23 Expo Marketplace. All right, so we were planning to go into the marketplace, but the line goes from all the way over there. So all the way back there so you saw that you showed them it's like literally i don't even know if the camera's capturing it how busy it is it's really I... far back that way so <laughs> yeah there's definitely a lot to do a lot to see here at d23 there's panels if you're someone who likes to know about like the latest disney theme park news marvel star wars all that stuff you're going to see in the panels and there's a lot of places for you to shop too if that's what you want to do if you want to see merch a lot of photo opportunities but for us like we don't really do the panels because there's we're gonna find out that information anyway. We don't really want to sit there too long because this is a, it's an event that starts from nine to seven p.m. We don't want to waste too much time in the panels. We actually want to walk around the floor and show you stuff. So we're not really doing the panels. They're fun, but not for us. And then of course the line for the marketplace is way too long. So we're like, we're not gonna do that either because it takes up so much time and there's so much to do and we want to show you guys. So come on, let's go. Dude, Thanos is huge. Wow, he's tall. Compared to me, I'm a pretty tall guy, about 5'11". 
Thanos. Careful. Towering Thanos over Janelle. I'm 5'3", so imagine how tall he is. Whoa. <laughs> Just don't snap your fingers, okay? So pretty much on this wall here, you're gonna find all the Marvel heroes and villains. There's Wanda, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, do not pet this. Goat's Careful. <laughs> the goats will bite. That's from Thor Love and Thunder. That's cool. Got so many on that side too. There's Doctor Strange. Wow. Miss Marvel over here. I would want to cosplay one day as Doctor Strange. Oh, you should. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be so cool. That or Superman. You got the suave hair for it. Oh, thank you. I think there's more people at this convention than there ever was at any other D23 right? convention. Yeah, we've been uh, like the four last D23s, mm. and this is probably the busiest I've ever seen it. And this is the last hour before they close, and there's still so many people. Yeah, I think it's just a lot of like Disney fans are getting together and sharing their experiences. Yeah, it's really nice. This is the place to be. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beautiful Besame makeup you guys it's so pretty i have all the collections i have this uh snow white one the sleeping beauty and right now they have the villains one and down here they have a d23 exclusive and it's yzma you guys look it's like the potion bottle look how cool pull the lever crunk so on top over here they have ursula's makeup look at this oh and then down here the horn, sorry. yeah <laughs> That's from the cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> and then right over here, they have Maleficent. Look at that. And down here, what's that, Janelle? No, down, down. Oh, the queen. So down here, they got the queen makeup. Hi, my name is Gabriela Hernandez, and I wanted to show you uh, our Besame Villains product uh, at D23 Expo. So we have three main villains that we highlighted. Uh, we have the queen's uh, poison book. So it has both formulas for both of the poisons that she does in the film. So you have the poison apple formula and the changing of uh, into a hag uh, formula, both in the, <laughs> in the right. book itself. Yeah. Uh, the palette does come out so you can keep something else in the book and put it away and keep your shadows by your makeup and just put something else oh. in the book. We have, of course, her lipstick, uh, so the dark red uh, lipstick of the queen and her uh, nail polish that's like a poison apple uh, type color with some uh, red shimmer inside. Now we've been seeing you for the last three D23s and you've had some great stuff in the past. Thank you. My favorite is the snow white one. The colors, especially that lipstick, they glide on so easy and they, they like, they stay there perfectly and you feel like the perfect princess. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the mirror from that collection was really popular. The, uh, the mirror from Snow White, that was a very popular one. People are still using it. I have not taken it out because it's so precious to me. It's literally on my little light stand, like just placed there. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm like, I'm not opening this. This is special. Nice. This is so special. That's awesome. And then we have the, uh, the Ursula Compact, which you can see inside right here. It's actually a, a shimmer uh, cream. So you can actually put it in your eyes or cheeks. Uh, but it's a replica of the shell that actually she wears. And it's got Swarovski crystals on the outside, gold plated. Uh, and if you put a ribbon in the middle, you can actually wear it as her pendant. Oh, uh, all right. Which is kind of fun. Very cool. And you said this one down here was a D23 exclusive. Exclusive, yes. What? And it's Yzma's polish. And it's um, it's the poison, the llama potion from the Beautiful. movie. Beautiful, all and right. And we even made a special label that you can actually uh, pull it down and you can see the little skull in there, just like in the film. <laughs> yeah. And then pull it back up and it sticks back up. So, That's cool. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's kind of a fun thing. We even made the top of it with wood, so it would kind of look like a cork. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we made it just for the show. Wow. So if you guys are coming here to D23, that's an exclusive. So if you want to come and pick one up, get it before they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We've been walking around. It's been a lot of fun. And we really want to thank you guys for coming along with us. You guys are always part of the fun. And uh, what we did earlier is we got ourselves a Lilo and Stitch vinyl. And what we're going to do is we're going to give back to you guys, of course. We're going to do a little giveaway. Pretty much all you have to answer in the comments below is what's your favorite Disney song from any film and why. And you'll be entered in the giveaway. And if you win, you'll get a Lilo and Stitch vinyl. It's so pretty. 
I kind of want to keep it. No, no I'll, give it. I'll give, give it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pretty and any of you guys can win. We just want to say thank you guys for watching us and we'll let you know on October 20th who the winner is going to be. Man, what a great <laughs> time we had here at D23. Yes. We hope you guys also had a great time. Lots to do if you're going to be here. Oh, remember, yeah. I would probably say you need more than one day. I will, I'll absolutely. Plan accordingly and make sure that what you want to do, you do that first because it gets <laughs> pretty, pretty busy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> one thing we forgot to do is see Walt's plane. I know. That's the one thing you wanted oh. to do. But we, we're going to come back Sunday. <laughs> we're not going to film that. But if you want to see, follow along, follow mm -hmm. us on Instagram. We post a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> or Magic Journeys on Instagram. It's too bad we didn't see the plane because that's all we were talking about. And then I we know. forgot because we we're going here and there <laughs> trying to get everything filmed. But guys, we just want to say we love you. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for all the great comments you give us and all the support. We just want to say we love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. But we'll see you guys here next time on Magic Journeys. Bye.